Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers, and this is Annie 255, and this is Module 4. We're going to create a water fountain and the environment using particle simulation and fields. So we're going to go into the overview, the student will model and texture a four-tier classic leaf water fountain and a small outdoor park or garden environment. This will be very small. That will include viewing benches, park-style trash containers, tall park nightlights, and a background park image. The student will create a water simulation using legacy particles like we have been doing and simulate water that will flow up and out of the top and flow over each tier of the water fountain until the water hits the pool of the water at the bottom. The student will turn in a water fountain simulated scene as an MB file and you will compress a play blast at XFIT or H.264 AVI movie file and please uh, look over the turn instructions and you will also do a screen uh, a, a screenshot of the entire environment okay you guys can look at the objectives they're basically the same thing except laid out uh, in a bullet form and then um, just keep in mind that if you do run into any issues with Maya, some of the tools, uh, whether it be modeling tools, translation tools, uh, animation tools, some of those don't work, then you may be running on a corrupt file. So make sure that you kind of look through my steps here to help prevent those issues from happening. Okay. And a lot of times I will actually go in here and in the um, in Maya, I'll go in here and show you how I, before I even start Maya, every week I'll go into my documents folder and find the Maya folder and find my, you can see the different versions that I had on here, and Maya 220. And then on your press folder, before you even start Maya, go ahead and delete that. Just go ahead and go move it to the trash. And once you move it to the trash, then delete your trash, go ahead and close it, and restart Maya, and you should be good to go. That's the way to reset Maya totally, okay? And I do that once a week before I start a project, okay? So Monday comes around and you start your project. Uh, project 4 is coming up uh, this week. And that's what we're going to go over right now is, is the assignment, Module 4 assignment and you may want to delete your prefs and start from scratch okay alright so test review I'll make sure that is up to date I, I think it's going to be over hotkeys so you I, I went ahead and give you a list of hotkeys and uh, the assignment of course in bullet form okay you're using all the techniques that you've learned in one two and three so far and you're going to create and texture. So I want you to model and texture a water fountain and the surrounding environment. Now, the water fountain has to be textured. Now, the surrounding environment can be like our first module. If you run out of time, you can use materials. Okay, But I want you to understand that you're going to show off your work to everybody in class. So that's going to start off this week with our discussion. You're going to show off, um, you're going to show off your car that hits the fire hydrant. You're going to show that off. And you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and I want you to post it on Vimeo or YouTube, and then uh, enter a link. Uh, make sure you enter a link that people can get to, so they can see it, and they're gonna critique you. So I want you to do the same thing, uh, same for other people. You're gonna need to respond to two other people on your discussions. So that's what's gonna happen with your with your discussions this week, is that you're gonna share your module three. Uh, uh, module 3 assignment. Alright, so um, you need to set dress your outdoor uh, park fountain environment. You'll need to have four um, assets. And I used three of the last ones. I had a park bench, a trash can, a park trash can, and I'll show you that in just a little bit, and a mailbox. Okay, and then I then I went ahead and modeled really quick uh, lamp post. Okay because you see lamps in parks all the time. Alright, so 
you're going to create the simulation of course you can read through all this and um, create the simulation you're going to create a play blast you're going to create a screenshot and you're going to create a, you make sure you give me three uh, my scene files and don't worry if you have problems with the Maya scene files um, you can get rid of the simulation like the MB file may be the only one that will save the actual simulation so I've got to have an MB file but the OBJ does not need the simulation in it nor does the FBX now the FBX I think will hold the simulation just fine I don't know and give it a try um, but but if you get errors go ahead and take the simulation out of those if you want to and then you need to compress your Play Blast movie. And if you if you uh, send me a 300 megabyte Play Blast movie, I won't be happy uh, because it takes a lot of time to download that stuff, and I, I want to get to grades immediately. And some of you are not compressing, so please compress at XVID or H.264 at the very least. XVID is free for Windows. It is not a uh, problem. You're not going to get hacked or anything like that XFIT is legit so please download it and install it. it's very simple once you install it restart your computer just like you always do when you install something and then open up Premiere or Maya and it should show it then it will show up automatically okay if you have problems with that uh, email me at jbuyers3 at jcc.edu and the last thing of course is the screenshot okay I always want you guys to go above and beyond. So if you can give me a, a scene that is totally textured, I, I, I can be happy as happy as a clam. And uh, continue going above and beyond. Again, our required asset list is right here. Uh, create an interesting water fountain and surrounding park environment, low poly scene. Try to keep it low poly as, as best you can. Model and texture of the water fountain, that's required and any additional props needed to complete this scene so that basically means that you don't have to have them textured but the props that we have do have textures on it and I just reuse those because when you look at this water fountain it's a four tiers uh, basically you have the nozzle where the water comes out then the splashes down to the second the first tier second third and fourth and finally into the pool okay all right so I basically very loosely modeled this um, and you guys can follow along if you want to. I use NURBS. It's a lot of fun. Um, NURBS is the only way to go as, f as far as when you do this type of work. Um, and then of course I, I reused my assets from Module 3. Uh, why not? You know that's, that's the best way to use them is just reuse everything you can and uh, create and then we're gonna need to um, minimum four props okay so basically I mean this there's one right here is a flag so there's one two three so we see three assets one being the flagpole the park bench and the trash receptacle so um, and then I had a uh, a mailbox but I had a light a basically lamp outdoor lamp that lit up the you know that would light up the park scene and you'll see that in just a little bit here All right this just basically tells you what I'm how I'm gonna model this and if you find you know, of course you can go on your own you don't even have to watch my videos on modeling so you can just skip this part if you want to and model your own stuff but if you've not modeled the NURBS before I would highly recommend you follow along and kinda get a, get a better understanding how NURBS works and you might uh, like what you see and and get, get some new techniques um, and then you're completely finished and then uh, with the course rubric I'm gonna grade you 15 points on how you model and texture the water fountain and how you set dress your scene and that's worth 15 points and then of course the simulation and all your turn in deliverables are part of this grade here so make sure you, you look at that and that's worth 40 points and then uh, your turn instructions it's I highly recommend that you watch this in, in fact you'll get you'll be lost if you don't so make sure you you watch this and it takes you through how to render your uh, render the shot that I need and then give me a screenshot okay and then we have um, turn in examples here's the finished uh, play blast that I did and then here's the finished uh, rendered scene that I have 
with the simulation complete. Now, obviously, I'm not super happy with this because I, the motion the motion blur did not work very well at all. Um, it's it's you know software. The software render in Maya has been around since Maya One. They really haven't done much of anything with it. In fact, they they're not going to do anything with it. They they tend to use thirty third party products. Before it was Mental Ray, they had that for a long time as uh, a, a robust renderer and then um, now they're using Arnold and unfortunately Arnold doesn't allow us to do uh, play black or uh, let's see sequence rendering we, we can do sequence rendering but we can't do a batch render uh, with layers so that's that's a problem um, so hopefully we can eventually they'll they'll include that with Maya or people enough people will scream about it and we'll include that with Maya but Arnold is a very robust renderer. It's free, and you can you can do a sequence. You can do a quick animation with it. It's just hard to render in layers. Okay, so um, and then the extra credit. Um, extra credit is basically this that you render out this entire uh, scene. Now you don't have to do 1080. You can do 720. Um, but that will stay. That will take a long time. It may take a couple days. So if you are going to do your extra credit and get 10 points you're gonna have to do at least 300 frames okay 300 frames and then bring it in a premiere and bring it in and um, and then go ahead and compress it and give me a movie file um, and uh, or a link to your movie file okay it should be small enough to up upload it right uh, we I would say that you have up to 500 megabytes to upload it won't be that big you know most of the animations that I have are under 50 megabytes, okay, if they're properly compressed at, you know, 300 frames. So you should have no problem actually uploading it. You'll have to put it in the extra credit folder. Um, if you don't have extra credit, you don't need to include the extra credit folder. But if you do do the extra credit, make sure you put it in there, okay? And I hope you're enjoying the assignments and enjoying the class. And I will see you guys in Module 5, which will be exciting. Um, so take care, and I'll see you guys uh, next week.